on the other back spin. So if you try and create a bit more spin, yeah. how would you change that compared to your low chunky run? So I go, uh, I go longer, what feels like longer swing, feels slower, and I try and take less sand. Longer, so, slower, less sand. Longer swing. Literally it feels like long and slow motion golf swing. Same well, set up? Yeah, it might open the face a fraction more, I'm trying to see it go a little bit higher, but the main thing is I'm trying to use a tempo where I can control how much sand I'm going to take. Okay. So cool. I feel like I can catch it quite finely through it, then it spins like that. Like a bit nearer to the ball. Yeah. Kind of. Whereas the chunky one, I feel, is easy because I've just got to hit it a bit fat. <laughs> yeah, like that. that. slower, but I just hit it too much behind. Ooh, I think yeah, it's so it's deceptive because what you feel is nice. really slow. Like that one spans insane. Quite a lot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think what you feel is really slow when you actually watch it back on camera. A bit like that, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, like, what we see most... Uh, what I see most in lessons are people getting bunkers, they want to get out of the bunker as quickly as possible. Everything about it is a hazard. So it's, yeah. boom, let's get it over and let's get it out really yeah, fast, correct. rather than correct. maybe embracing that when you watch some of the best players in the world, man, do they look relaxed when they go in a trap, yeah. don't they? Boom, boom. Then it pops I really like to feel like my, my, my right hand really accelerates past my left one. So you're trying to add Yeah, a lot. add a lot bit more loft, just like feel it gets there. Boom. That Great helps up. me really, if I want to pop one up higher, I can. Go on, let's see a high one. Because you can pop it. Yeah. Don't you? A bit heavy. Uh, a bit heavy. Bad though. So instead of feeling it over tape, I'll just add loads. At what, the start. To start with? Yeah. How do you feel like it returns when you start with it that open? Yeah. Do you feel like when you return, it's in that same place? So once again, this is just me knowing what I do in the golf swing and what I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to drag the handle. That's pretty much a <laughs> that's pretty much a hundred percent, right? So if I drag the handle, I'm always de-lofting it, okay. but not in terms of that way. It's just that. Okay. It's just forward pressing, de lofting. Yeah. So that means if I start with that, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to return like that. <laughs> I'm probably going to return it more that way anyway, okay. because I'm more that way. So purely based on the skill practice, how are you going to find a way to get it out and get it high? Mm. I've adapted what I've done. Open it uh, really open, wide. Open it really to, wide. Well, it's just the earth when I see it. So what does that look? Does that not look pretty? That does not look pretty. No, that makes me nervous. Get over, <laughs> get over the fence. That makes me think like I'm going to hit the sheep. But you must have done something because you've squared club face out. Yeah. Well, it's path, isn't it, as well? Like, my path's definitely straight. I'm definitely not swinging across it, so... Go on, get that face I'm much up, more, man. I'm What's much wrong with more. you? There we go, that looks better. Yeah, that is Major. Come on, you'll be all right. See, look. There okay, <laughs> you are. A bit, a bit more speed. You know? Let awesome. me, just Let me try a bit more speed. I, um, if I'm really trying to hit it high, I try and get further from it and try and get the shaft flatter. Bit flat. I feel like if I can get it flatter and I can get it more round, I can get it shallower and deliver a bit more loft. That's better. That's better. I generally think like, oh, if I'm trying to hit it lower, I'll get closer and stand the shaft up more. The shaft flattening is actually an interesting point for me because I used to play every bunker shot like as low as I could and yeah. going that way. And then when we went to James Ridyard yeah. and he was like, oh, if you can try and match shaft angle to arm yeah. angle, you can be a bit more consistent in the sand. Yeah. And that literally was like a game changer because I was always like here and... Yeah. always diggy and was doing the opposite of the drag yeah. whereas here I can sort of make it work if I try and get make sure I don't get too far away but then it does mean you have to have a wide open club face which for me doesn't look too bad no you quite like it